graduate students at the University of Pittsburgh in the Communication Sciences and Disorders Department studying audiology, which is how the ear works and how you hear sound. So today we're going to be making a model ear. And this may not look like an ear, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes, which is what we're going to discover today. So if you imagine a big ear right here, and you have your ear canal, which is where you get water or earwax, it leads to your eardrum, which is this part right here. So if you make a sound, your eardrum vibrates. But on the other side of your eardrum, there's so much going on that allows you to hear. So here, we have three little bones on the other side of our eardrum. So here they're represented by some cardboard, a bendy straw, and a ping pong ball. And after that ping pong ball, or those three little bones, we have what's called the cochlea. And in the cochlea, we have fluid that vibrates when the eardrum vibrates, and it allows us to interpret sound so we know what we're hearing. So here, if we clap our hands, or if we make a sound on the outside of the ear, we'll be able to see with the craft we make, those sound waves moving through the system and vibrating that liquid in the inner ear. So these are the items that you'll need. A spring pan with the bottom taken out, so it's open on both ends or any kind of circle like that. Um, a textbook or something to put your project on at the end. Saran wrap or cling film a Tupperware container with water, a piece of paper, and a straight edge. You'll be drawing a grid on it. Some scissors, a rubber band, cardboard, a pen or marker, a bendy straw, a crazy glue, a ping pong ball, and tape. For step number one, you need your circle, your cling film or saran wrap, and a rubber band. So what you're going to do is place the circle on top of your saran wrap and pull it in so it's nice and tight. And then you're going to place the rubber band around it. you need your cardboard and a pen and some scissors. So what you're going to do is draw kind of a pizza shape like this. So a triangle with this extra little rectangle on the end. And after you've drawn that, we're going to cut along these solid lines. And once we've cut it out, we'll fold along the dotted lines. All right, so once you've cut out your pizza shape with your scissors, we're going to fold along these dotted lines. So first I'm going to fold up, right where we have these flaps. And it'll probably help if you fold the other way as well, kind of get a better crease. And then we're gonna fold it in half. So along the center dotted line and where that flap is. So it looks like this. Okay, and now once we're like this, we're gonna wanna open these flaps. So it looks like this, we have this fun little shape. Step number three, you need the cardboard you had just cut out, a bendy straw, a ping pong ball, any type of glue, and tape. So first, you're gonna take the open part of the flap you just cut out and put the straw inside with the short part pointing down and the long part inside the flap. Then you're going to take your tape and you're going to tape the straw inside the cardboard. And then once you do that, you're going to take your ping pong ball and glue it to the bottom of the short part of the straw. And then it'll look like this after it's done drying, which may take a while. For step number four, you're going to need your spring pan with the film and the rubber band, what you just made, so the cardboard, straw, and ping pong ball, and some tape. So take the cardboard, 
and open up these flaps and you're gonna wanna place it on the film just above center. And you're gonna take your tape and tape each corner. Just like that. And I'll do that for each corner. After step number four, this is what it should look like with the cardboard tape to the film. And then for step number five, you need this, a textbook, the Tupperware container full of water or anything full of water, and the grid you made the lines on. So first I'm gonna put the grid underneath my Tupperware container and then place my circle on top of the box. So this is our completed craft. Again, we have the eardrum, the three bones, and the fluid in the inner ear. So whenever you make a sound or hear a sound, the eardrum's going to vibrate, moving the bones like this, and then moving the liquid in the inner ear, okay? So I'm gonna clap really loudly on this side of the eardrum. So as if I was clapping outside of someone's ear. And you can see those ripples in the water that show that that sound wave is traveling through the system, getting to the inner ear, and this person will be able to hear these claps. Thanks for listening.